Welcome back. Last week I did a video on replacing my pins or the metal clips that came with my box blade with pins that I bent up. And this is the thing I came up with. I don't know if you can see that. And right away, Ross on the land was like number one in the comments. He was the first one and he said that I should add a washer so the pin can't rotate in the hole and maybe fall in. So check it out. And this time around, I'm gonna do some testing so you can see how the pins work. I'll show the old one that I made and the new and improved version. This way, maybe it'll look more professional. I was just trying to make the pins a little easier to make. I was kind of thinking I was gonna run the washers vertical, but it turns out there's a radius on the square tubing that makes the box blade. And it's still kind of floppy like that. So then I decided I'm going to push these shanks all the way forward and then rotate these washers to where they're kind of wedged up against the shank. I had another idea while I was sleeping. You can actually grind out a flat spot there and that'll get right behind that shank and really hold it there and keep this thing from spinning. If you want to do that when you add your washers, that'll probably be a good plan. I'm going to mark all the pins where the washers are and then I'll have to grind them to get the paint off. And then I'll just tack them up. Unfortunately, I have them all tied up to the box blade. So I'm gonna have to do most of the work pretty much in this area. Since I can't take the pins to the paint booth, I gotta bring the paint booth to the pins. So we're out at the MJA Doing Stuff Proving Grounds. We're gonna test out the original version versus the new and improved version. Let's see what happens. Engine, here we go. Ooh, what happened? That didn't work. Forgot to lock the pin. That's not good. First up, the new and improved version. out with the old and in with the new not bad well I think everything worked out either way the pins work the only thing I can think of that would make any difference was would be if it was like a hard packed gravel driveway and the box blade was bouncing up and down that was a clip from Hillside Acres Richie and Chrissy make a great team. They got a 45 acre farm out in Connecticut. They recently bought a house too on top of all that and they're really doing stuff. <laughs> I 
I think I'm gonna stick with Ross's uh, design. My design was kind of on the more simple side, but Ross's design seems to keep the shanks a little bit more tighter. And they're not rattling as much. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of grinding the washers off or anything, so <laughs> they're pretty much the way they're gonna be. Ah, oh, this is much easier. Look, Ma, no tools. Oh wait, there's more. And there's another, here's another one. I got a 5 8 bolt. And uh, if you don't want to do any welding or bending, drop that sucker in there. That does the same thing too. And it ain't gonna fall through the hole either. So there's another option. Use your imagination and think outside the box blade. I know, I had to say it. If you like this type of content, please feel free to check out our other videos. They should be right about here. And if you want, you could subscribe right here. See you on the next one.